Let's talk about IUPAC nomenclature of substituted benzene. So we're going to follow the same roadmap for nomenclature that we always have, but there will be a few differences. We'll first circle the parent chain, label the groups, number that parent chain, and then number four. We're going to put the name together, and then we're going to remember stereochemistry at the end. So with monosubstituted benzenes, one substituent, there's a few um, compounds we just have to learn the name of, and they're going to be our priority groups for benzene nomenclature. So they're going to act like a parent um, chain. So first, aniline here, we have an NH2, uh, anisoles, an ether, benzene sulfonic acid, benzaldehyde, benzonitrile, benzoic acid, phenol, and styrene. Okay, also toluene is one that we're going to learn for the monosubstituted benzenes. These are just going to be named as parents. We'll see how that looks coming up. Uh, other substitutions such as chlorobenzene, just take the simple name of the group and add benzene at the end, then nitrobenzene. Okay, so we might have um, bromobenzene and so forth. If they're alkyl groups on the monosubstituted benzene, if they're non-ambiguous groups, you can still name as a benzene. So isobutyl benzene, one, two, three, four um, carbons, isobutyl, there's no um, amb ambiguity about what butyl we're talking about. It's isobutyl. So we call it isobutyl benzene, and there should indeed be no space there. Okay, and then ethyl benzene is also non-ambiguous because we can attach to either position of an ethyl group and it is the one position no matter which carbon we attach to. So ethyl benzene works. But if the side chain name is ambiguous, we have to name the benzene as a phenyl group on the parent chain. So one phenyl propane looks like this. One, two, three carbons where the parent chain is actually propane because 2-propane is isopropane um, or isopropyl. So isopropyl benzene is a, a, an, an acceptable name because isopropyl is unambiguous. But when we say propane, um, it could be the 1 or the 2 position. So we have to say 1-phenylpropane. And generally anything larger than, than an ethyl group is going to need this um, system of nomenclature. So we could also have 2-phenylpentane. So the parent chain is pentane, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we connect at the 2 position of pentane. So that's a 2-phenylpentane, that phenyl group there. For disubstituted benzenes, we have substitution patterns of ortho, meta, and para. And so ortho looks like this. If we have one group here, ortho to that group would be at this position, or ortho could be at the other position here. Okay, so the same positions um, are both symmetrical for um, ortho substitution. So two groups side by side on the benzene because it's planar. Meta would then refer to one, two, three away. So there's the meta position. There's ortho, there's meta. The other meta position would be there. So either one of these two could be called meta. And then para is directly opposite the benzene ring. Okay, so the benzene substituents in the four position, okay, relative to the original group. So let's look at a couple of um, these three we have to name with common names because they have um, specific names that are retained in the IUPAC system. There are many more of these. These are the only three we're going to learn for this class, especially those with carboxylic acids. There's tons of these special names that you could learn if you wanted to. We'll stick with these three. So this would be orthoxylene, two methyl groups. Okay, so if it was orthoxylene, we'd say oxylene. Um, and then cresol is a methyl group and a hydroxy, so it's like a phenol, but it's also got a methyl. That's called cresol. There's orthocresol. We could also have metacresol. And then toluidine has a methyl and an amine, and so we could end up having here um, para-toluidine. We just got to learn those substitution patterns. 
And if this dye substituted benzene has a priority group, we have to circle the parent chain. And so circling the parent chain includes the priority group, does so for both of these. Name anything that intersects the circle. Okay, and then we number starting where our parent is and minimize the group one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want to put that name together. So this is three chloro uh, phenol. It could also be called meta or just M for meta chloro phenol. Then the other that we have here is an, a 2-ethyl um, aniline, or it could be called an ortho-ethyl aniline. Either one works. Okay. What if this dye-substituted group does not have a priority group? And so here we would have a para. Well, let's go through our no naming rules in order. Never take a shortcut. So no parent here. So they're named as regular groups. There's chloro, there's nitro versus ethyl. And so we want a number. Okay, we have a tie. Either one can get the one or the four because they're both chloros. But here, ethyl gets the one because it's lower alphabetically. So the same alkane nomenclature rules apply. Put the name together. And we have a para. A para dichloro benzene, or we have a 1,4 dichloro benzene. Either one works. And then for our other example, we have a 1 ethyl 2 nitro benzene, or an ortho ethyl nitro benzene. Either one is acceptable. If we have three or more substituents, um, we have to consider the case where we have priority groups. So here we have an anisole, and here we have ooh, two priority groups. We have benzoic acid and phenol. Um, in our priority chain, carboxylic acids have greater priority than aldehydes and ketones, greater priority than alcohols. And so we end up picking the priority group here. This would then be a hydroxy. This would be an ethyl. And so we number, putting the one on the priority, then lowering the next number, three, four, five. One on the priority, lower the next highest priority group, two, three, four, five, six. So then we put it together and we have a 2,5, can't use ortho, meta, or para here because there's more than two substituents. So we have a 2,5 dichloro anisole. 2,5 dichloro anisole. We also have a 6-ethyl 2-hydroxy benzoic acid and there is a second word here for acid there at the end 6-ethyl 2-hydroxy benzoic acid and then if we are without priority groups or we have more than one of the same priority so here we have no priority group so the parent is benzene but if we have more than one of the same priority that group loses its priority. So we can see the same thing occur with toluene as well. And if we go through and look at this, we end up, when we number, we put 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can put a lower number overall of 1. The next lowest would be 2 and then 4 as opposed to a 1, 2, 5. And then here we can have a 1, 2, 3. Here we can have a 1, 2, 3 as well. So what do we end up with? We end up with, alphabetically, bromo comes first to bromo 1, 4, dichloro, benzene. 
and then where we have more than one of the same priority group, we lose our priority um, because you can't pick one or the other. And so you end up with a one, or excuse me, a benzene one, two, three trial. So it's named like a normal alkane alcohol. And then here at the end, we, we have um, alkyl groups that would not be named with that split convention, benzene one, two, three triol. We have methyls instead. So here we have a one, two, three trimethyl benzene. So remember, al alcohol nomenclature, um, we could also say, for alcohol nomenclature, we could say one, two, three benzene triol as well. Okay, so either one works there, but then trimethyl benzene would be the other. So a couple of examples to finish out the more um, elusive rules that we don't normally see in the textbooks.